Newton's third law. I know you've heard this one before. It's every action has an equal and opposite reaction. It sounds really simple, but Newton's third law is actually the source of a lot of misconceptions about forces and how when an object is applying a force to another object, what that actually means. What are these action-reaction pairs? So I'm going to go through it, show you some force body diagrams to try and show you these pairs. But first, a more careful explanation of what Newton's third law is. So if an object, which we'll call A, so the person in this case, exerts a force on object B, which is the large box, then object B exerts the same kind of force on object A with the same magnitude, but in the opposite direction. The three really important, important points here are that it is the same kind of force, has the same magnitude, and it's the opposite direction. So same kind means if one object pushes another, that object pushes back on the first. If one object exerts a gravitational pull on another, the second object will pull a gravi uh, uh, apply a gravitational force on the first, but in the opposite direction. So let's start with a force body diagram for object B, the box. Let's model B as a particle and we'll think about all the forces that are acting on it. Well first we have a gravitational force which is applied by the earth pulling that box down. We also have a normal force which we'll call Fn which is applied by the floor pushing it up. We can also see that that person is applying a push force in that direction. That push force is from the person. And we might also have friction. It doesn't necessarily have to be the same size. Let's make it that size. The force of friction applied by the floor also, by the carpet. And so that's a force body diagram for the box, which we'll write there. Now let's draw a force body diagram for the person. Well, we know that gravity is also acting on the person, so we'll draw the gravity due to the Earth there. We know that there will be a normal force uh, applied by the floor. And now we'll stop and think about what force is being applied on the person by the box. Well, Newton's third law says that if the person is applying a force to the box, and that force body diagram for the box, then the box is applying a force on that person of the same size but in the opposite direction. It's also pushing back on the person. So we'll draw another force about the same size there. It is also a push force and it is being applied by the box. The box is pushing on the person. And we'll just highlight this one as well to show that those two are the pair of forces that are being, um, that are, those are the pairs, that's a pair of forces that Newton's third law refers to. The pair of forces are acting on different objects. One is acting on the box and the other is acting on the person. It's just that they, one object acts on the other. We've got another interesting uh, force that I just want to used to complete this force diagram. Of course, if the box were producing a, as we've drawn here, a push on the person, that person would accelerate in that direction, be pushed in that direction, and the person would disappear off to the right. So what's keeping that person there? Well, there's actually friction between the person's feet and the floor. If you think about it, if you push backwards on the ground with your foot, what's friction going to do? It's going to push in that direction. So there is also a force of friction applied on the person by the floor. So there's our force body diagram for the person. 
And here the key point is that there are a pair of forces, the push force of the person on the box and the opposite direction, push force of the box on the person.